Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. This is Article 4, Stewards of the National Master Contract. This article defines a steward's duties and activities. If you want to skip ahead straight to the reading, go ahead and click on the timestamp in the description. Below, you can find a link to the UPS Teamster contract, or if you have not already, you can also download the UPS Teamster app on Android or the Apple Store. This app includes the contract with a handy search function that allows you to find articles and sections immediately important to your situation. I have also included a shorts link below to help you with installation. Now, late October, I caught the most recent seasonal flu and I lost my voice. But now you can kind of hear it, obviously, that it's back and I can talk again and I can finally get back to doing this project. Um, normally, well, not really normally, I was excited to give you a good luck um kind of a pass off before peak season you know with it coming into november and having that opportunity but i didn't so it's a bit late it is december 3rd for me right now i want to wish you all a safe peak i want to wish you all happy health and i also want to wish you all a merry christmas if i don't see you or if you're seeing this video later who knows anyways we're gonna go ahead and get right into the reading article 4 stewards the employer recognizes the right of the local union to designate job stewards and alternates from the employer's seniority list. The authority of job stewards and alternates so designated by the local union shall be limited to and shall not exceed the following duties and activities. Subsection A. The investigation and presentation of grievances with the employer or the designated company representative in accordance with the provision of the collective bargaining agreement. Subsection B. The collection of dues when authorized by appropriate local union action and Subsection C, the transmission of such messages and information which shall originate with and are authorized by the local union or its officers provided such messages and information. Subsection C, subsection 2, if not reduced to writing, are of a routine nature and do not involve work stoppages, slowdowns, refusal to handle goods, or any other interference with the employer's business. Job stewards and alternates have no authority to take strike action or any other action interrupting the employer's business except as authorized by official action of the local union. The employer recognizes these limitations upon the authorized job stewards and their alternates and shall not hold the union liable for any unauthorized acts. The employer in so recognizing such limitations shall have the authority to impose proper non-discriminatory discipline including discharge. However, in the event the job steward or the designated alternate has led or instigated or encouraged unauthorized strike action, slowdown, or work stoppages in violation of this agreement, he slash she may be singled out for more serious discipline, up to and including discharge. Stewards and or alternate stewards shall not be subject to discipline for performing any of the duties within the scope of their authority as defined in this section in the manner permitted by this section. Recognizing the importance of the role of the union steward in resolving problems or disputes between the employer and its employees, the employer reaffirms its commitment to the active involvement of union stewards in such processes in accordance with the terms of this article. The job steward or the designated alternate shall be permitted reasonable time to investigate, present, and process grievances on the company's property without interruption of the employer's operation. Upon notification to his or her supervisor, a steward shall be afforded the right to leave his or her work area for a reasonable period of time to investigate, present, and process grievances, and to represent a fellow employee concerning grievances or discipline so long as such activity does not interrupt the employer's operations. This shall include the steward's right to represent an employee in connection with any grievance concerning safety issues. The employer will make a reasonable effort to ensure that its operations are not interrupted by the stewards engaging in such activity. The employer should not use interruption of its operation as a subterfuge for denying such right to the steward. Where mutually agreed to by the local union employer, stewards may investigate off the property or other than during their regular schedule without loss of time or pay. Stewards will be paid for time spent in meetings under this article which occur during the steward's regular working hours. Stewards shall also be paid for the time spent in meetings which occur outside his or her working hours or on days off by mutual consent. Such time spent during the job stewards or the designated alternate's regular working hours shall be considered working hours in commuting daily and or weekly over time if within the regular schedule of the job steward or the designated alternate. The employer recognizes the employee's right to be given requested representation by a steward or the designated alternate at such time as the employee reasonably contemplates disciplinary action. 
The employer also recognizes the steward's right to be given requested representation by another steward or the designated alternate at such time as the steward reasonably contemplates disciplinary action. When requested by the union or the employee, there shall be a steward present whenever the employee meets with an employee concerning grievances or discipline or investigatory interviews. In such cases, the meeting shall not be continued until a steward or alternate steward is present. If an employee does not wish to have a union steward in any meeting where the employee has a right to union representation under this article, the employee shall sign a waiver of union representation, a copy of which shall be furnished to the union upon its request. If requested by the local union, the designated stewards will be provided with copies of all warning, suspension, and discharge letters. If a supplement has no provision, allowing a local union to request documents or information with regard to pending grievances, the following shall be incorporated into this supplement. The employer shall, upon written request, provide the local union or the steward designated by the local union with documents or information that is reasonably related, based on NLRA standards to the pending grievance. Job stewards, or designated alternates, shall be allowed to wear an identifying steward's badge provided by the union, at all times while on the employer's premises.